Hey guys! So I don't have my tripod with me today. Um, so sorry if it's a little bouncy bouncy, but look who's here. You guys are always asking when is Hubs gonna be back on a video? So he's home. Hi. I'm home for like a day. A day. <laughs> Which is better than nothing. Um, so, anyways, as you guys know, whoops. <laughs> Don't want to cover that. <laughs> as you guys know, wow, this is really weird because I'm like the thing is over here. Um, as you guys know, I wanted to film a video a day, so that's what this is. Um, just something short that I wanted to put together. Basically, today I gotta go to work, so I'm gonna be leaving for work in about an hour. So just enjoying some coffee time with the hubs and um, you know do that. But I wanted to thank you guys for let me put this let me see if i can balance this it's not gonna be the best angle but whatever um i wanted to thank you guys for the comments and how you were supportive of my idea to film a video a day um so i like how other people are doing it and i think it's going to be really cool to see everybody else kind of <clears throat> put some content out there um i really like just the concept of being able to just put on a video and just see you know what comes through what comes out of what comes out out of your head like out of your mind and like what comes through and whatnot and just also to switch things up so it's not the same content like that's what I wanted to do I wanted to have um stuff on my YouTube that's not just tarot related because I was kind of finding myself getting sick of tarot <laughs> honey oh yeah no, I was telling you <laughs> Or are talking to me? Yes! Oh, I was they... talking to you. Oh, I thought you were talking to the camera. No, I know, but, you know, let me see. I wish I had my little... Oh, we don't endorse these brands, you know. We're we just, you we know, don't endorse these brands. Unless they want to endorse us, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very... It's a very cheapy breakfast this morning. Like, we just had some cereal because I'm, like, down to my two eggs and not going to the market till what tomorrow morning tomorrow morning so gonna just you know have some coffee and what did you have a pop tart yeah <laughs> so a very unhealthy so pop tarts if uh, if you want to sponsor me uh... a very a very unhealthy breakfast but hey it's better than nothing hey your candle went out oh yeah just it was out on this morning when i got up here would you guys believe that is the 22nd candle that i have lit I light a candle a week for you. Yeah, thank you. And I'll be lighting candle number 23. I don't know what to do with the candles once I'm done. Like Put them in a the box, that's what I say. I know, keep them in a box or, uh, they could be like incense holders, but I don't really know well. I mean, I don't really need 23 incense holders. So by the time all of this, this whole journey is done, I'll have 28 candles. But, don't mind me, I'm over here trying to figure out a playlist over here. <laughs> He's good with music. He's a Taurus, so he's into that kind of stuff. All types of music. Like all types. He, yeah. That's why I like to play, I play your playlist when you're not here. Oh. Because it's like a little taste of you being home. <laughs> <laughs> Me being annoying, that's yeah. what she means. But it's so funny because um, I was telling my husband that how the cats are kind of fighting with each other. But I noticed when he's home, Luna is out more. So what, what, what I ended up doing was I locked up Starla and so Luna can have some time with him because he doesn't get to see her that often and she's his favorite. Or he's, she, he, Luna's your favorite, but you are her favorite. Yeah. Like, she's not. She chose me. Yeah, she did. She's not she very. She chose wisely. She's not very partial to me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Starla's more glued to me. But, yeah, so we have Starla locked up because I want Luna to have a chance to have some time with him. Like, she's literally on the couch right now. So... She doesn't do that when you're not here. Bye, Luna. Yeah, my baby girl. I'm telling you, when you're not here, she's like, she usually is in her cat tree or hides in the bedroom or something. She doesn't stay out. Oh. So it's kind of nice. So yeah, but um, yeah, you guys, I wish I knew how to, like I wish I had the editing software so that I can film a little bit here. Tell her to buy it. <laughs> film a little bit there so that I can like put all, you know what I mean? Like put all the So you know what, how about together. this? Send her some recommendations of good so editing software that um, she could use. Preferably an app. Is there an, is, are there video editing apps you guys where I can like put multiple videos together into one? You don't think so? No, it, what she needs is but good I, software to put on her laptop. Where but she then could, I would need a good laptop because well, my laptop's dying. I need to. 
<laughs> yes, that'll, that's one of the next purchases I need to make for Kathleen Moon is a new laptop. But for now, I just make do with what I have. Do what you got. But if I had the video editing, editing software, <laughs> then I would be able to film multiple little videos and then make it like a vlog status, you know? That's what I would like to do is do vlogs, but can't really do that when all you can do is film straight through with one time, but hey. So, what's new, interwebs? What's new? What's new? I've been out of like, you know, society for a little bit, so. You've been out of touch with reality. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> a lot of them are asking what you're doing and I don't tell, I don't say. I can't say. He can't say, but it's training for work and it's a dream come true, I guess is what, that's what I say. Yeah, and that's what I think of it, it's, it's a, it's a, it, it took a lot to get here. It did. And, and it's still taking a lot. Like by that he means he had been trying for seven years, which sounds like crazy. Yeah. Seven years meaning he put in applications and it wasn't just for this agency though, it was for other agencies. But for seven years you were applying everywhere and then to finally get the one you wanted. So it's just about perseverance and you know what? The, if there's the, I have my highs, I have my lows that shoot, even now. It's it's uh it's really taxing on the mind, mm -hmm. on the body, uh, emotions, everything. But you know what? It, you just gotta push through it. But if there's anybody that knows what it's like to be patient and to keep going, is you because I don't oh, think you. a lot of people would have done that. You know, seven years of trying. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, I mean and you, it was literally third time, right? The, yeah. the whole third time's a charm kind of thing. This was your third. This was your third time, and you got through. Yeah. So it was like, okay, now it's like, and you're taking it 100 percent seriously. Yeah, I'm taking it 100 percent seriously. I mean, because I mean. Which is why he doesn't come home sometimes. Which is why I'm alone. If you guys were wondering. <laughs> yeah. Because he has to do what he has to do, but. Um, it will pay off, you know. It it it, it like, the saying, you know, embrace the suck. Mm -hmm. Exactly what it is. Embrace it. Um, even though it pain, blood, sweat, tears, just do it. <laughs> Plus, it. you gotta like what you're doing too. Oh yeah, if you don't like what you're doing, <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. Yeah. Period. Your mind will beat will beat you. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, we, me and some of the guys, we have our low points, but uh, we gotta help each other through and, and and you know support my wife over here. And it's weird because I was feeling it yesterday when you came home last night. It was like, no, this morning when I saw your stuff on the counter and stuff, it's so, it, no, usually it's like, oh, you know, my husband's home. But because you're not home often and literally it's once a week when you do come home, it feels weird to have you, like, have your, to see your stuff here, like to see your keys on the counter. Or I like, just throw them everywhere. Yeah, and it's, but it's, it's a weird feeling, but it's also really nice too. So it's, you know, I like it. I enjoy it. It's nice to be home, even for just a day. You appreciated it more now, right? Like, do you feel like you appreciate the things that maybe you once didn't appreciate? So sure. <laughs> 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 but like, I don't know. Like, it's weird because I've seen change in you. I've seen growth in you in the last growth and six uh, months. Bags, major bags in her mind. <laughs> You've definitely gone through a physical transformation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've lost a lot of weight. Lost a lot of weight. He's very, he's probably the most, um, fittest in my whole life. He's ever been. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's different. You, like seeing the metamorphosis in you has been nice. So. Thanks. It's nice. I don't see a difference, but okay. <laughs> I do. Oh my God, I do. <laughs> and then also like seeing you. Just for me, what it is is that when, like, if I get frustrated when you're not home and stuff, I always remind myself this is his dream. He's doing his dream. And that kind of helps me put it into perspective. Like, okay, I understand, you know, that he has the opportunity to come home, but he chooses not to. Or I understand that, like, he can't always be on the phone with me when I want him to because you have things to do and you're studying and stuff. So it's been, it's been, you know, I've been learning myself, like my lessons on the other end of this experience has been like, 
my independence, like I've told them, my independence has been growing. Um, and then also, it's, good, it's, it's always a good thing, you yeah. know, to be independent. Um, yeah. I always tell her you're a strong woman and, and you can definitely tell. Yeah. You know, you, you and for like those so many years, I was always like your number one, you know? And so I had to like step back from that. I'm not your number one right now. And like, that was hard at the first time. I know, time. Luna is. That for, yeah. Right, Luna? Yeah. Hi, my baby girl. That first month was hard for me to step back and not be your number one, <laughs> but it's for good cause. Right, Luna? Yeah? Come here. I love seeing her so vocal. Come here. I wish, I hope you guys, I hope that my cats can start to get along. I think once Starla Come is here. full grown, like she's still a kitten. Come Starla's here. like, what, six months? Um, I think that once Starla's actually an, an adult, cat she's not going to be as hyper nothing is not everything is going to be a toy to her and maybe she'll leave luna alone but luna's four going to be five years old this year and um so she's fairly you know much older than starla and luna just doesn't have the energy or the time <laughs> to play like starla wants to um which right, i don't luna? blame her luna was never really much of a playful kitten either yes, she was really but even as she got older, she doesn't play as much as Starla does. Oh, like, yeah. Starla plays with everything. Come here, Luna. She's, so she's right here, not on the couch. Yeah, she's on the couch. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. He's here. Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Can you see him? Or... Hi, you... my Luna. Come here. Oh. Come on. I love having Luna. Hi, come here. I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you being home, mm -hmm. she's very different than when you're not here. Like, when, when, when my husband's, well, I keep covering the hole. <laughs> when my husband is not home, Luna is very, um, Hi. like, she hides. She, she doesn't come out. She's, like, over Starla. Like, Starla just annoys her. But when you're home, she's, she's out. Even when Starla was annoying her, she was still out here because she wants to be with you. She's rubbing up against my leg. So that's why I don't feel bad for locking up Starla because... She's laying right next to me right now. I know. Hi, this my is baby your time girl. to spend with her. Hey, my baby girl. Come do on. Do you miss her when you're gone? Of course I do. Her fluff. Her short hair. Her little furry face. <laughs> oh, oh she's face. a short-haired cat. Uh, yeah, that was Yeah, that's what they told us at the shelter, that she's a short-haired cat. And I'm like... Well, she has short hair, short fur. Yeah. She did have short, like semi-short fur. Not as short as Starla's, though. But she did have short fur when she was a kitten, and then like as she was getting older, it like, <sighs> like she's a poof ball now. So we think what? We, what do you think she has? Part Maine Coon or Nor Norwegian mess Western? Well, according to base paws, if you want to endorse those too, you know you can always you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's a Russian blue, uh, Norwegian forest cat. And the Somalia. Uh, Somali something like or some, something like that. So if you guys don't know what that is, and if you're cat lovers, this will be really cool. Um, so base paws, B A S E P A W S, is um, is a place just like how Twenty Three and Me, where you put in your your test to figure out who where you come from and all it's of that. It's a DNA test. It's a wow. DNA test for cats. So they send you a little package in the mail and it's basically all it was was like taping, put taping on Luna's back to get some of her fur and then you send it in to get tested. Yeah, they use the hair follicles uh, or uh, tips of the uh, fur. The tips of the fur. Yeah, and, and um, extract DNA from it. Yeah, and then they put together a whole little profile. So we have Luna's little face on her profile and every so often, every few months, they'll give an update <laughs> based on however many more cats they get. So... They have it. I don't think. Do they have a Maine Coon on there? Yeah, they do. Oh, so she didn't have much Maine, as much Maine Coon as we thought she did. She's more Nor Norwegian forest cat, which makes sense because they're fluffy too. But it's kind of cool to see um, to see that. So I'm kind of curious to do that with Starla, but I think I'm gonna wait till she's a little bit older. And I I think Starla has definitely what is it Russian blue. Oh, yeah. You can tell in her face. Yeah, she definitely has, I think, a very strong Russian blue in her. And then I also feel like she has Siamese in her, too, because she just has that, that look, that her structure of her body. Uh -huh. So it'll be really interesting to see Starla's.
but um but yeah i love cats it's been it's been interesting introducing starla to they them. are really a different type of and they all have their own personalities they do i think they're aliens they're alien they're like literally i feel like cats are super smart like i don't think people give them enough credit they well, because people, they're very intelligent i don't know you, maybe you guys agree or disagree with me um they're not dogs and, and people from my experience I, uh people think they could treat them like dogs like hey come here yeah. and they look at you like what peasant <laughs> they're, they're not like that they so. don't really want to be told what to do they just do what they want when they want to do it yeah <laughs> and that's why people there's a stigma against cats because they don't act like dogs yeah so but they're not meant to be like dogs well, of course not but and that's what nice those like okay what some positives about dogs they greet you every single time you come home. I grew up with dogs. <laughs> they are protectors and they're like your best friend. Like they love you no matter what. Cats love you no matter what, but sometimes they don't have time for you, right? Or like they, some, show, you, they show you in a different way. Some cats are Right Luna? Some cats are yeah. more affectionate than others. So Luna's not very affectionate as well, she is with him, but not me. But Starla is very affectionate, like with anybody, strangers. Right. So it's kind of funny how that happens, but anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in and watching us. And I just wanted to have a little video to post up for today because I'm going to be leaving for work soon. So I knew I wouldn't have time to do it. And then after I get home from work, I'm just devoting all of my time and attention to the love of my life. <laughs> talk about me. <laughs> so anyways, I will talk to you guys later and I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Bye, honey. Say bye. See you later. Bye, guys.